Hello, and welcome back to Factory Town. In our last episode, we did campaign level one, or we finished campaign level one, rather. And uh, that taught us how to make some of the basic products made from wood, primarily. As you can see, the plank as the logo is kind of a good hint there. And also some stone products as well, but just kind of the basic, the basic things to get a town started. So in the next campaign, which we're going to start today, level two, uh, presumably we'll get to learn how to make cloth. So let's go ahead and begin that. So the, right away, you can see the town starts out a bit bigger than it used to be. It is, uh, um, there's a bit more going on than we had before. We have farms now that are already set up for us. Uh, we have uh, some automation going on here too. And we do still have a wagon bringing stuff in, uh, into the food market. And we have people hopping around as well. So we're going to have to probably do a little bit of cleanup of that before we can actually get started on making all of the things. So let's see, we once again have to get to tech level three, actually we need to get to tech level four. Uh, we have to get some happiness up here, I suppose, probably we need to make sandwiches, warm coats, uh, have a forester and a pasture as part of these upgrades. If we look at the uh, research screen, the next research we can do is research level, or civics level one rather. And then we have a bunch of other stuff here to unlock uh, as part of this as part of this tutorial the houses are currently upgrading because we are selling at least flour well only flour to them uh, via the thing here so we probably should sell some more stuff uh, apples would probably be a good choice so let's start with that let's uh let's do what we did the last time and set up a crate here and just get a person to do the uh, harvesting of the apples and then we'll grab a wagon if we have we do have that can take the apples to the food market. And that'll at least get us kind of started on some a second item for them. Uh, let's see, we have automated a little bit here of the uh, um, stone production. I think maybe we'll do something similar with the crate here too, uh, just to kind of um, speed this along a little bit. And we can have the person here uh, take stone into there, and then we can put a grabber to pull the stone out and onto the chute. And that'll give them a little bit less uh, walking they have to do. And we can also have someone else help out with that effort, uh, which will, hopefully will boost the production of the stone bricks here, which we're currently just storing, as well as the uh, the actual stone here, which is getting brought down to the barn. Uh, we also have logs coming into the barn. And that reminds me, the barn is the third uh, global storage option that we have available to us. Uh, behind the uh, town center and the crate that is, we have the barn. So we are uh, mining some stone. We're rolling it down the hill. We're taking care of stone bricks, so that's good. We'll have, hopefully have those produced pretty soon. But we need to make some uh, some wheels and some of the other uh, basic wood products that we, that we need here. Uh, we're making planks here, but they're backed up, uh, probably because they want us to take them to make something else out of them. Uh, are we making them from here? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's uh, let's take one of some from one of these boxes. Um, maybe both of them. Well, what are you doing? Why don't you just take from here? Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Let's pause. Sometimes it's a little easier if you just uh, if you pause when when you're trying to capture a person and have them do something. That way, you don't have to go nearly as far. We can put you a little path in there. That'll help matters a bit, I think. And then you are... Oh, you guys are all loading on logs. Okay. Let's do... Um, let's see. Planks go next to... Uh, wheels, I think, right? Let's go a workshop, actually. Let's take a look at what that's going to entail. I think that'll be fine. The uh, wood wheels need just two planks. So we'll just take those right from here from the storage and uh, let's do a support there and we'll go oh we need to make belts first okay well then let's make wood conveyor belts from this then uh, we do need to bring then some of the logs in which means that I probably should do something similar again with the uh, with the crate uh, for some of the log delivery here let's put this in no let's move it over by one more I want you to stop. Stop your hop. And you can stop your hop. 
Uh, come right here, maybe. Let's take this road out. Because you're not going to need it anymore. And then we'll take a chute from here into here. And also can come this way. Like this. And then like this. And then like this. And then you can hop into that. And actually, you're not going to be able to reach it, are you? Where are you? Oh, you are. Okay, you'll just get it from underneath. And then we need a splitter here. Let's grab one of those. And that'll make sure that uh, half of what these two collect for logs goes into each place. Now, the problem is I need to get some planks from, from here to here to make that first belt. Uh, and to get them um, put into a crate. That means I'm going to need another person, too, temporarily, to take belts into the belt box. Yeah, I thought so. That was going to be... I knew that was going to be slow. Too slow. It's, the, the, the lumber mill doesn't make planks fast enough for all of this. Yeah, we're going to have to change this up. Let's do that. Let's make this bigger. Let's let's kind of mega base this a little bit. Uh, you can wait a bit. Uh, you can come here, and let's do a move uh, here, and then we'll build another one of these. And we're still gonna just make planks. And then I would like this to come... Actually, we can just do it like this. Into there. Into there. And then we can do a... Support post here. I think that's the right height. We get enough. We didn't get any yet. Hold on. Oh, we have two. Okay, good. You can continue delivery. Actually, I should just put give you your own box to deliver to, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's do a grabber. Uh, let's put the belt in first. Actually, we should put the belt, the belt belt in first, and give it to this person. And then we should put this belt in next. I'm going to do it like that, even though the belts are coming straight out, because then I can take advantage of the, uh... Hmm. Oh, planks. Yeah, they're not going into global storage now. Uh, let me back out this and this. So that I can steal some of those belts for this purpose. Planks. Oh, I know what the problem is. Okay. Uh, then I need to do another person to bring planks to here. Uh, and then you'll be able to go back to the general store afterward. I mistimed everything. I forgot we were taken to the general, general store. Sometimes you got to stop that if you're wanting to make things. Uh, work. I have nine conveyor belts now. I should be able to do this slowly. Uh, kind of two planks at a time. And then we need one more. Uh, well, two more planks. Like that. I can turn this. And now we don't need you to do that anymore. You can go back doing this, and now we don't need you to do that anymore. Except that I can't click on you. There you go. Uh, we can actually retire this person, probably. I'm going to see if that one's even necessary anymore. And then we can do this. So, the pusher here, 
which is uh, new to us. The pusher says that everything that comes this way, comes along this belt, needs to get forced into here until this storage is full. And then it can continue down to here. And that's really nice for like overflow tasks like this one. Uh, we do need to do this though. So that they actually do come into here so we can make those belts. And then I'd like to set up another place to make our... Um... Actually, I don't know if those are ever going to work right on a double belt like that. I may have to change this again because I forgot how slow those belts are. Uh, maybe it will. This one's outputting pretty much everything, so maybe it'll be okay. We'll see. We might have to put these on two separate belts. Uh, so we have now this uh, making those. That'll eventually back up and go go away. Uh, let's also do another setup similar to this, but let's do a single, uh, where we have a single workshop here. Again, making planks. And then we, or a single uh, lumber mill, rather. And then we have a workshop here that needs planks. There we go. Making wheels. And then we can do a um, crate, because I like to have a place for stuff to get kind of delivered to if you have more than one worker like this it just kind of seems to make things a little bit better what's here cloth conveyor belt yeah let's um let's put the wood conveyor belts here until we actually unlock the cloth ones and then we'll take this here like this to put those planks into there and then we can go back with another crate like this and that if I had... Oh, it's on uneven ground. Uh, we'll put one of these in, and then we can just do that. And now we have wheels. And the good thing about having wheels is we can now make... Uh, we can now make as many of those wagons as we'd like to have. Uh, you're full? Oh, wow. But we could also do the task edit thing. Uh, hold until empty. Hold until full kind of thing. Uh, that way, it doesn't travel unnecessarily, if we don't want it to. Okay, so, uh, next I think we should probably convert... Wow, you've got people picking and then the farm. Okay, we probably don't need all that. Um, I think we should build a kitchen, though, making bread. And I think if we're going to do that, we should do a little bit of rearrangement here, too. So let's take out this piece of grain. And let's move this to be like this. And we make another food mill to uh, make flour. Oh, wow, there's new animal feed recipes. Well, that's nice. We'll get to those at some point. You can go this way, and then you can also go this way, like that. We'll do a splitter here, just to make sure they go evenly. There. And that's still outputting, which is good, but I want to put in a kitchen here. Do we unlock the kitchen? No, we haven't. We need to set up a school. We have a school. We're we getting paper to the school? We are, very, very slowly. Uh, let's replace you with a wagon. Oh, we've, we've unlocked this tech level, by the way. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Wagon. And we'll take the paper up here. I should probably belt it eventually, but it'll be fine until then. What's this workshop going to be for? Oh, probably cloth. We'll see. Uh, so we need to go into R and unlock civics level one, sure. And then kitchen is locked behind tech level three. So we need to un open that up and that opens up a bunch of different things here. Farming, which we already have a farm, which is weird. Forestry, intermediate logistics, kitchen, fluid pipe, tailor, coin boosters, and wooden railways. All right, now we can open up that kitchen if we had the research points. Uh, we're at 55 right now, so we'll have to... This will this will accelerate us by quite a bit, I think. And uh, we'll get there soon enough. Uh, but until then, we could... Actually, this is going to more than keep up. Uh, we actually do need more out here. Interesting. Oops. I deleted one, uh, one grain. Okay, 
Uh, what else can we make to sell here easily enough? We're going to be selling more stuff later, but what else can we sell easily enough? Uh, we don't really know how to do... Um, we can't do any of the, like, the chicken or the eggs yet. Uh, same thing with milk, butter, and cheese. I believe that's all still locked uh, for us. Yeah. Uh, but we can find maybe some vegetables. Uh, here's some berries. We could cart those in. We're already bringing apples in, so maybe that's not that huge of a deal. There's no vegetables near town. Those are apples, right? Yeah. Uh, wow. Oh, here's some potatoes way over here. Well, we could bring those in. But uh, here's some carrots over here. Yeah, let's bring those in. Let's uh, put in a cart path here. I'm going to go to there. Because I don't want to go uphill, downhill too much. And then we'll come this way. Then we can come into here someplace. We can put it in a, in a crate. A worker. Picking potatoes. And a wagon. Not enough worker capacity. Okay, so we need more houses. That's easy enough done. I assume you're linked properly. Yes. All right. Now we have more worker capacity. Wagon here. Take potatoes up to here. Long trip, but hey, what are you going to do? And we can upgrade the uh, population level too. Let's go ahead and do that. Gives us more house capacity. Not that we need it at this point. Oh, our next tech level, by the way, is cloth conveyor belts and wooden rails. So that'll be interesting to unlock. We're at 139 research points. Um, let's see. We need to have more, um, more logs coming in here. So let's do the same trick with the chute. And the person doing this instead. That'll make the paper get made a little bit faster. Really? How about if you go there instead? There you go. Sometimes you gotta use the path to suck them in. We probably don't need quite that many bricks stored up. Maybe we could do... Hmm. Maybe we could replace this. Let's, uh, just for posterity, let's put this up on a level. Uh, let's do a belt going into town. Uh, let's go to here and then come down a level, just in case. Uh, you can be retired now. And then we can put in a crate uh, somewhere. I need to make sure I put it in the right spot, though. Maybe this, this should be good, I think. And then we want to come into the crate there. Good. Okay, so I want to put a pusher in here, too. And that can go here. So once this crate is full... Oh, I actually don't want those going there. Once this crate is full of 20, then I want this going to the store instead. We're going to do that all the way into the store, just for fun. Go there and then come down. Just to be safe. So to fill up the crate, we'll have 20 in the crate, and then we'll let the rest of them get sold at the store, which would be nice because it'll get us more red coin, and of course more experience and whatnot. These are the categories I was talking about. Hardware, clothing. Did I not see those on the store here? Oh, basic food is all basic food. Okay, that's why I didn't notice it before. And we passed 200, so we can do our uh, kitchen research now. We unlock the kitchen and the tavern. Okay. Uh, bread is still delivered here, though. So we don't need to put up the tavern just yet. Uh, kitchen. I'm going to put one of those in. 
We need more planks. There. Turn this off. And we'll make bread. Two flour. One fuel. Ah, uh, here's the other bread recipe. This takes potatoes. So you can do that also. You can take one flour and one potato and a fuel. Uh, otherwise, it's the same recipe. And then we want to have uh, probably some supports here like this. And then some wooden belts here and here. Perfect. And then we need some fuel. So we're going to do that via... I don't suppose there's any coal really nearby now. We're going to do that similar to this also, I think. But I have to be careful because of the slope uphill here. Um, I can't do a can't do a shoot. So we have to do a belt, at least partially. We can do this height. We actually have to go up one whole tile. Uh, let's do that, and then let's go over here like this. And then we can just ramp that up. And we'll just we'll just make it a whole a whole thing here. That'll be fine. There you go. Have some wood, make some bread. And then of course now we can take this bit out. You're still hauling the flour? Yes, you are. And we can put in a belt. It needs to go uphill slightly here. Uh, we can just do like this though. And then we can take this here and then into there. And it won't load up until the flower is gone. The potatoes coming in? They are. Slowly. Very, very slowly. And here comes the bread. Now this wagon is filtered so it only will carry um, it only carry flour, not everything. So we want to change it now so that it carries bread instead. Um and we can still do this if we'd like. Hold until full, hold until empty, just to make sure that it doesn't go uh, too haywire if, if we want it to. Not that it costs anything for it to go back and forth, but I think that's fine. So now we're not producing enough grain over here. And we won't be able to resolve that entirely uh, right away. We'll have to wait until we get a little bit more advanced. So I'm going to wait on that idea a little bit. Let's uh, Speaking of that, let's do farming. Or should we do fluid pipe? We also need to do forestry. Uh, let's do fluid pipes because we know those. We can set those up pretty quickly here. And then we can move on with, with other things. Uh, let's just set those up right here. Still do the th thing here. Just in case we want to have two people working. Fluid pipe and person and go and then that's all we need we see this these to go into a box and that's it should have some of those getting made now oh i see what the problem is this needs to start up here because the uh Lumber mills on a, um, on a on a on a riser a little bit there, so you can do up one block on a crate, but you can't go up any higher than that. All right, here come the pipes. That was an easy one. Do we have anything else we can spend yet? Not yet, but almost. And we'll do farming next, I think. Just about there. So that basically got us through the entirety of our. Um, of the last tutorial components. So now we can unlock farm uh, farming, which gives us a farm a farm tile and allows us to research animal pastures, which is one of our victory conditions. Uh, so the farms are these buildings here. And the farm tiles are these buildings, or whatever you want to call them here, these tiles, literally, here around the farm. The farm um, gives us, uh, allows us to grow, well, different types of planted things, um, anything but trees, basically. 
And you can also have it supply water and or fertilizer to the farm tiles. And farm tiles are um, a way to boost production of the, the item you're farming, i.e. the grain. Um, since we do have two farm tiles here that aren't don't have grain planted on them, it's actually plant grain, actually quite a few. And all I did was just queue on the grain and that gives us the ability to plant the grain. And then I'm just placing it down on these empty tiles and I can even place it down on some of the other tiles too. And that actually plants the grain and allows it to start growing. Um, there's a lot of interesting bits here with farming. Um, some of which has was changed before uh, or as I was playing my Mega Base series. Uh, basic... Uh, when you plant something new on a new tile, that thing has no affinity for that tile necessarily, and the default production is or default yield is whatever. Uh, it, it varies, so I'm saying whatever because it varies based on the product, based on the item. But you can see here that the uh, the grain has uh, wants to be grown on grass terrain. It has a default yield of eight. Um, I read those backwards, but that's fine. Uh, a farm tile gives it plus 100 percent to the yield. Water gives it plus 50% to the yield. And fertilizer gives it plus 50% to the yield. And that it can get up to a double affinity as well. Um, and again, we don't have any affinity in this tile. But if we click on a tile that's been growing green for a while, it has 100% affinity now. So it is now producing double, or now 16 grain yield, instead of 8. So as something... Uh, is planted on a field, it will eventually gain affinity, f or that tile, that, that ground tile, will eventually gain affinity for that product, for that uh, for that crop in this case, and it will um, and, it, and it will grow, it'll yield more every, every cycle. The only thing this doesn't tell us is how long the growth cycle is, and I'd have to look up what they are. I believe they're on the wiki. Uh, but one thing we can do here is we can actually take a well because uh, if you saw that we can provide water to the farm tiles, uh, we can put a well down here next to the lake. And when you put something down next to the lake in the blue space that takes water, it will automatically draw its own water. Uh, now, a well draws its own water anyway, but um, but I think it gets... Does it get a bonus for being next to the water? No, actually it doesn't, I don't think, now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Now I'm drawing a blank here. Um, if I put this here, it is still gaining water. Okay. So the wells don't get any benefit, I don't think, from... Maybe they get... No, maybe they maybe they grow... Maybe their water is gained faster. Let's see if we can test that out, because I want to I see. If I put down... I'm going to pause. If I put down two wells next to each other, one in the blue zone, one not, and uh, I unpause... Yeah, this well gained four water in the time this one gained one. So they definitely accumulate water faster if you put them in the in that zone. So that means we need to do pipes. So let's go into the G uh, to go to the pipe layer by default. And let's uh, click on the fluid pipe to place the fluid pipe. And let's just pipe that water directly into the farm. And you can see it going in here now. It's filling up the, the water buffer. And you can see that the worker here is supplying water to the nearby farm tiles only. And you can see them darkening because they're saturating. Uh, they do not water the the un... Um, the unfarm tiled grain, but they do they do water the, the, the grain covered in farm tiles. So now, our default yield has gone from 8 all the way up to 40, thanks to the double the affinity, plus 100%, uh, which those, and plus 50%, which those stack together. So eight becomes 16, and then plus 100% becomes 32, and then plus 50% becomes 40. So you um, you really start to gain a lot of yield from these once, once, the, once you get to that point. All right, so that's farming. So now we're producing a little bit more yield on the farms, or on the fields that are covered in the, uh, with the farm tiles. Uh, and then once we have fertilizer, which we don't have it yet, uh, we can then unlock, uh, we can then also deliver fertilizer to the farm tiles. 
So let's, um, that's farming. Uh, we could, we could do what we maybe we should do is put in another farm over here. And we, we, we can make the consideration to overlap them or not, uh, with their little, their little, uh, rectangle of influence here. Um, and I think I will buy at least a couple of tiles like this. Uh, and also you can see the affinity is these glowy green bits on the ground. All the all the green squares have affinity for uh, for something. Uh, so let's put this down and we will um, it'll it'll destroy the grain that was underneath it, but that's fine. And then we can do a how are you? I want to make sure that we come to the right height here. I think we can just take this straight out and go straight into there. Oh, excuse me. Get out of the way. Straight into there. And then we can turn it like that. And these will all come together. And I think we can do away with this hopper at least. Actually, we should do away with the other one. Because at least the one that was over here was um, was gathering up grain that they couldn't reach. That these farms couldn't reach. Well, that one was too, I suppose. We'll put it back. We'll put them both back. There you go. Uh, and we'll, we'll collect the grain that's not covered by the farms. And that'll be good. And we also cannot place farm tiles yet because farm tiles require fertilizer in order to place. So we'll have to wait on those. But that's the basics of farming. And now we're producing quite a bit more uh, grain. And hopefully that will mean we'll produce quite a bit more bread in the end. Uh, flour is our holdup because grain is our holdup. So producing more grain is a useful thing. And we can once again add workers here. But one of the cool things with this is uh, workers here add one full work per second instead of just a half. So you get a lot more benefit from your workers in a gathering building like a farm rather than in a production building like a, uh, a food mill. So we could potentially want to double the workers in these two buildings. Maybe we should to provide enough grain. And then we can uh, eventually do away with these two workers here once they've cleared up the extras. Okay, uh, what's next? Let's see. I don't think you're gonna be necessary anymore. So we're just gonna delete you. There you go. Uh, I think these two will be able to keep up just fine. Uh, no, let's go to the research menu. Uh, what should we do next? Let's probably do one of the cheaper ones. Forestry could be good. Or maybe we should do animal pasture first. Yeah, let's do the animal pasture first. That gives us the animal pasture. Let's all be surprised at that. Uh, pasture is the place where you, well, raise animals um, to make animal products. Uh, right off, we have eggs, raw chicken, fertilizer, wool, leather, and milk as our options to make here. Uh, but for at least some of these, um, you also get fertilizer back. Everything but the chicken stuff, basically. Uh, or you can just make fertilizer straight up. But we need animal feed to make this. So we're going to have to eventually turn some of this grain into animal feed. Excuse me. Turn some of the grain into animal feed in order to feed the pastures uh, what they need. And as mentioned before, we can now make animal feed out of carrots or potatoes as well as grain. And maybe we could do that because that's something new. Uh, we do have some carrots down here, so that could be useful. But also, most things, be again, besides the chicken stuff, requires water as well in order to make. So... Um, we, we got, we're going to want to make some of these things, some of them to sell directly as food, uh, some of them to um, to go into making other things. And one of those other things is here at the school, is the book. The book takes paper and either leather or cloth in a workshop uh, in order to make a book. And the book is worth 10 research points apiece, whereas the paper is only worth one research point apiece. So... Just like with the the flour to or grain to flour to bread thing here being worth more value, we we get the same thing with um, with paper and books, and there's other things here too. So I think we want to make books, but I can see that we also have 
we'll get back to that in a minute. I can see we also have the ability to make cloth here at the workshop that we can then turn into books as well. And I think we're gonna actually do that. So let's start here by collecting some of this, um, some of this cotton here to make cloth out of. I'm gonna put in the usual here and we'll, oops. And of course I have to do my own grabber because it doesn't know which building it's gonna go to. Uh, let's put in a couple of people for now. And we can start making cloth from that, from that cotton. Cotton goes on a shoot just fine. Does it add the cloth to the book automatically, or do I have to feed it, loop it back in? I have to loop it back in. So that means that I don't want to make the books here. Uh, I want to make it, make the books in another workshop. And I think we're just going to make them right here. A book from, from cloth, this one here. Uh, cloth, though, needs to be on a conveyor belt, so we'll do that. That'll go into there. And then we can also take paper on the conveyor belt and feed it into here. And I'm going to retire you. Or actually, I'm not going to retire you. I'm going to repurpose you. Uh, so the paper is now getting fed in. Uh, the cloth is getting fed in. And we have a book made. So let's do a path into there. And then we can take the books into the school. Uh, we might need more stuff going on here pave some more of this land so that they can hop around and get more more uh, logs into there. I probably should have just made these one box. I still could. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have you add to that one too. Let's change this up. Everything you delete in this game, by the way, is, re is returned to you. Uh, with very, very few exceptions. So, uh, if you delete things like that to re redo them, you're fine. I think that'll be better because this isn't using very much and so sharing is better. Sharing is caring. Uh, and now we are much happier with the uh, with the logs for the paper. And I could even have you also wait for full and hold until empty as well. Uh, that way we we don't have the, the cart running back and forth all the time. It kind of doesn't really matter though, I guess. Such a short distance. And our lag right now is still on the paper. But that could get resolved over time, too, with with this stuff. So that automatically increases our production of things, or of, um, of, of research points, because we're already up to 300 now. So I was going to start a, a thing with the pastures, but I think we'd be better off to wait until uh, the next episode and, um, and start one of the things that we need the pasture for. Whether that's a sandwich, which needs cheese, which means means we need uh, milk, and also chicken, which means we need chicken from the pasture, or we could work on the warm coat, which needs leather, um, and we could also unlock forestry, which I think I want to do first in the next episode. But for now, we're going to leave this here, so thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.